Hi, and welcome to my channel at Bunny Hollow Crafts. Today we're going to build the album and the hinge and be ready to insert the pages in the next video. Please join. I'm starting to cut the chip chipboard for the album and I thought I would show you how I go through that thinking process. So I put one of the pages in the scoreboard to see the size again, eight and a half by eight. So I wrote eight and a half by eight right there. So I want my album to be a half an inch bigger than either uh, either side of the page. So add a half inch, so cut scoreboard nine by eight and a half. So this is the chipboard, not a S. So chipboard. Okay, might as well fin fit figure out the hinge at the same time. Your hinge I want smaller than my page. Um, we'll go with a half an inch, so we'll make this eight by seven and three fourths when we get to this point. <laughs> so right now I'm gonna cut my chipboards. While we have this little piece of paper and we're working, let's go ahead and figure out um, how many, how, how many, how wide our spine needs to be because I gotta cut a spine. So the way you do that, I just draw a line, cover here, cover here, do a line for each of your pages. So that's three pages. So one, two, three. So in between all these little spaces, you need a half inch before your cover, one between those pages, one between those, and one there. Okay, so then you just add up your half. So there's one, two, so it's a two inch spine. All righty, let's get to cutting. Okay, to cover my album, I'm gonna take um, just regular eight and a half by 11, and this is 65 pound. You don't ever wanna use thicker than that because your cover has to, you know, the spine has to bend. So a little glue on the long end, I'm just gonna connect these just not paying much attention to straightness because it won't matter, we're gonna have extra space. Okay, so a little glue again. And just put this one down. I didn't get that very good. <laughs> I'm just gonna put some glue under there. I don't think it's gonna matter. Maybe it's just a shadow. Maybe it's just a shadow. All right, let's burnish real well. Where is, I clean up, I lose things. Um, here we go. <laughs> so burnish down real well. Okay, and let's just set our chipboards on here too space them out in our mind. So the spine will go in the middle. See, so we have plenty of space. So I am going to just use some of my wide score tape. So this looks like it'll fit right on here perfectly. Okay, so let's just go ahead and put him in the middle. Pokey tool. Gosh, I love cleaning up, but I don't like, you'd think it's right here, there it is. <laughs> Every time I finish something, I try to clean up so it's not a mess, you know. I finished matting, so. Let's put some glue on the sides where there wasn't tape. And we'll just stick this in the middle. Middle top to bottom. I wanted that much on either side, that's why I went kind of sideways. And just press it down.
Okay, bend your tape back where I got over a little bit. Okay. So this is full of tape. So I like to come in at the side. I want to leave this about more than an eighth, less than a fourth. Get it where I think is right. Kind of push on that edge and then just lay it down. This is really thick um, chipboard. Um, I have not, um, this is Michael's brand. I haven't used it in a while, but my cutter did not want to cut it. And that's a brand new cutter. <laughs> into the side where these seam yep that was right okay I'm going to flip this over and burnish it down really well Okay, so now I'm going to bend up, bend this way, I'll take this to bend this, it's just easier on the long edges I think to bend it and do it all at one time quickly. Okay, and it does not matter that this is not in here straight, you can see my paper is not really straight on the end so you got more room there than there but it won't matter these little things don't matter and it's off that way too it won't matter all right i'm going to clip my corners before i put the tape on there because you don't want to cut away tape right and waste tape So just don't get too close. It's about the same. Well, it's less than that, but once you do a one or two, you'll have it. It's, it's not. It's not hard. Okay, I must have glue on my scissors. And you don't want to. And these are my good scissors. I'm gonna have to figure that out. Okay. seem smooth so I'll give that a little work over okay next is tape everything so I'll get Burnish everything down really well. 
We're going to start with our long sides. Hook tool. Okay, I'm going to take off the tapes. Okay, I'm going to use my glue because it, this tape wasn't really wide enough. First thing I like to do, seriously, is this is something I never skip, is I put a nice bead of glue beside the chipboard. I've never had an album crack since I've been doing this. So I never skip that. Sometimes I go back and give it a second pass. Okay, and then just glue wherever there is not tape. Okay. I turn it this way and I grab this tool and I just work it. that paper then a sort of attaches the glue and the chipboard and the paper together and then I just start in the middle push down and then push out okay don't worry about your corners at this point and don't worry there's a little there I fixed it already it was a little wrinkle right there not a big deal okay burnish it down really well we got glue in there too so Okay, so this side, take off our tapes. Again, glue right up against that chipboard, right in, right in there, a nice bead. Okay, and then glue on your edges and where there's no no tape okay again this tool pushing that up there against the edge of the chipboard I think this together with that glue is the reason I've had no problems pull it forward in the middle and then out to the sides perfect glue on me got a rag <laughs> okay perfect All right now we have to bend in our corners actually I'm going to take off my tape first because the tape's in the way right there so I may be a little bit sticky but that's the way this one's going to work okay my tape got over right there all right, so just take your uh, tape is over right there. It sure was in the way. So just take that and pinch it in, get it flat, pinch that one in, just work it in there. And then again with the glue. I don't know what's on my glue. <laughs> Clean that off. Glue right in there along that edge, wherever you need it. Okay, again with this. Ah! Okay, and just press it down. Okay, I love it. I love making albums. All right, one last corner. Let's, let's go ahead and push in the corners. Tape's not in the way this time. Be a little easier without the tape exposed. Okay, so nice and flat. And then take off the tapes. And a little glue.
going to use this. I know I have glue on my mat right there. I'm trying to avoid. I just push it down. And there, we're good to go. All right, before you bend it, um, I like to take my score tool. You can sort of see where it's starting, but give that a nice little score. Don't push too hard. Just let it, and then it will fold. And there's our album. Beautiful, no cracking, no problems. This is going to be really cute. I love this size, I think. All right, we will make a hinge. Here's another way to figure hinge height. I don't know why I wrote it both ways. It's only one height. You talk, the width does not matter. I'm just going to lay it in here and leave almost a half an inch and just make a mark. <coughs> Excuse me. And then I'll just cut it right there. And that is our height. Okay, let's cut it right there. Save a scrap. This can go away. All right, we're probably going to need two pages of this, but that's the right height. It's now eight by eight and a half, right? The width, and it will fit in here perfectly. I don't know if we're going to need the extra page, but I think we probably are. All right, so my first score mark is always around two inches. I'm going to go with two inches just based on how the wide the album is. So two inches right there. Okay, so you need a gusset before a page. That's a half an inch. Okay, that's before our first page. And to make our first page, we're gonna use one inch segments. So if I'm at two and a half, I'm gonna go to three and a half. You need two of these, so from three and a half to four and a half. So that's our first page right there. And after every first page, every page, you need another gusset. So there's another one. It's a half an inch. Always your gussets, in, in my world, they're a half an inch. Okay, so after the gusset, another page, which is a one inch segment. So we're five. We'll go to six and seven. So that's our second page. We have room for a gusset, which we need after a page. And then we have one half of our page. So let me cut another page because we're going to need just a little bit more paper to that almost eight inches. Okay. I didn't cut that very evenly. We'll fix that. Or does it go this way? I get so turned around in my head. Okay, so I'm going to join these one right on top of the other. That I will trim later. So let me get the scoreboard out just so I don't get glue on it. But I'm going to put glue right up to the score line. I do not want to go over the score line. But I want every inch of this covered because this is the continuation of our hinge. So to put it on, just go right up to the edge of the score line, not over it, because this has to bend, and just push it down. back in the scoreboard and there's our one inch right there it's gonna fold that's right beside where we glued that down so that's half of our let's see one two this is our third page and then you need a half an inch gusset at the end okay so all I'm gonna have to trim is that little bit right there so after that, I usually do two more inches, which is the same as two inches as I did down there. So let me draw this out so it's very clear. So in between the two inch segments, that's one page, that's your second page, and that's your third page. And you have a gusset of a half an inch in between each one, and these are our two inch segments. I'm gonna cut that right there, of course trim that, and then we'll put this together. Show you in case anybody needs to know better. So I'm just gonna put that 
score mark in here and just cut it. It doesn't really matter. You're gonna cover that with, pa with paper anyway. Oops, that goes there. And let me trim this off. Make that nice and even, okay. All right, let's fold it up. Put the pin back in my glue. Okay, so everywhere where you have a one inch, you need to fold that up, you know, fold the two inches up and then fold it down. All right, there's your gusset before and your gusset after, right? So grab the next two inches and just manhandle handle them a little bit. I guess that was sexist, but you know what I mean. <laughs> Ah, this new brave world of everything changing. Okay, I'm just going to give them a nice, so they'll stand up a little better. And then there's our last one. All right, just fold up the one inch segments. This one's being difficult because that's where I um, added the paper. I'm just going to work it and it'll be fine. Fold that back. So there's our gusset on the other side. There's our three pages. So I'm going to work this one just a little bit more. Work them all a little bit more. Just give them a nice crease. Okay, so now we need to flip it over and put tape or glue, but I, I like to use tape. About out of that, but I put it right near the top of right near the score line, but not over it. I can get two pieces in there. So let's go ahead and do that on all of our on one side. There's the end of the tape. Dog on it. I love this size. Let me look for more. Okay, one more roll found. It's the last one, too. I'm going to have to reorder. So, again, I'm going to put two in there because this is a one-inch segment and you've got more space. All right, so one more. This is the part, I just love building hinges. I think there are rules that you must follow and it just makes everything simple. I, I love being, it's just, it works out. Okay, so let's take the tape off. Let's burnish down well. And you're gonna fold the two inch, the two one inch segments together. And since we've done all that pre-folding, it just lays over beautifully, okay? More tape. Oops, this was our two pieces. Let's go down there. Okay, fold the next one right in. And take this tape off. and fold it in again. And it just works out beautifully. Okay, when you turn it over, there are our beautiful three hinges ready to go in our book. Let's pull the book in. I think that'll fit perfectly on that spine. Very easy. I'm going to put score tape on my um, back of my hinge. So this will be firm in the book. If your hinge 
goes, the book goes. <laughs> I love this wide, wide stuff. It makes quick work. Okay, go that way. <laughs> okay, I don't think I have room for two, so I'm going to go to the end. Okay, burnish that down really well. And I'll take some of this and put in here. Okay, no fear. Take your tapes off. Actually, let's before we take the tapes off, make this even less scary. This fits in between your two score marks where it bends, right? And almost these score marks of your first gussets give you a good indication of center. You want to get it top to bottom. And what I find is easy to do and foolproof is to get it where you want it. Take your pencil and draw a line. Actually, I want the line on this side because I always go right to, or left to right. Okay, so there's my line. I'm even going to draw a line up here, just a little one that I'll go back and erase. Okay, so now I have a landing spot and it makes it easier. So tape off at the far end. I only take off one. And I'm, gonna, I'm holding it up. I'm going to put this at that mark that I did make that I didn't said I didn't need. I'm glad I have it. Push it up to the top where that mark is. Get it nice and straight. And just lay it down. And then you can pick this up. And go in there and pull off the rest of these tapes. Okay, hold it tight and just pull it over. Lay it down. Take your fingers up inside your hinges and burnish it down. Move them both directions. This is the hinge that we doubled the paper. I didn't do it quite like I should have, but it's going to work. I'm going to make it work. One, two, three. Actually, it's a sturdier hinge now that it's a little bit thicker than it should be. All right, so now what we need to do is score again because we don't, you can't, you know, you got to find where the score mark is and just sort of feel it. Use the bigger end. And just gentle, you don't want to bust through. I kind of lift as I'm doing it just a little bit. And there we go. You never need to go further than straight up. Okay? So the other side, find that score mark. Kind of lift will show you a little bit. And just feel it. And give it a couple of nice light passes. And there we go. Okay, there's our book with our hinges in place. All right. And I wanted to go ahead and get that piece out of the way because this is really page one to me in my mind. You got to do something on the inside cover, and this is really the back page. I'm going to cut my two pieces of red at the same time. If I can find my mark. Which one did I mark? It works if you take this eight and a half. There's my mark. It'll fit. You know, the, the width is perfect. So I'm just going to cut where I marked. Okay, 
I don't like this cutter as good for that, but it doesn't leave your pages, you know, that frilly ruffled edge that it does. So it goes that way. And we'll just, you know, the, the Friskers trimmer does that on the black and the red. I don't know why. It makes it fuzzy on the edge. And this one is a nice clean edge. Okay, so this will tidy up the inside and help hold down our hinge when we cover over it. All right. So we're gonna have to score again. No, we're not. Our score mark is over there. Okay, that's perfect. And cutting two at one time saves you time. Okay, I like to go to the outside edge and make sure that's pretty, you know, and then lay it down. Okay, now I can get busy doing something on these and that'll help me in my mind <laughs> get moving. Also have to mat the outside. There's lots to do making a mini album, but it's fun. Okay, all I did here was put a piece of eight and a half by 11 and, and measure it down in white, right? And then I added the half inch flap so I could fold it under and just put it on the front cover. I think I'll put a pocket under it. <coughs> Man, every time I turn on the, start to film, I start to cough. <coughs> okay. So just up at the top. I don't usually mat before I put it on there, but it was kind of fun. I liked it. So I'm just going to leave me a little. No, because I don't have my pattern paper on it yet. So I'm going to go on up to the top. Yeah, I don't want that little red showing. So just burnish down well. Make sure there's no glue on the other side, which seems to be my nemesis. And there's a flap be for the front page and or the not the front page but the inside the front cover alrighty I'll do something similar for the back I will decorate the pages and then I'll come back and put them in the book with you mm -hmm.